Hi y'all, she was seven, I'm back. Okay, so I know it's been like a week and I'm sorry. But I just have to make this really quick video today because I have been seeing so much crazy stuff on Facebook. I'm in a, a group that's like, you know, about makeup and cosmetics and stuff. And this is the last place that I thought I would see something that I could like talk about on this channel. But there were like these women in um, a conversation in, you know, one of the posts and they were saying, you know, I hope my, my daughter or my son turns out gay because I don't have to worry about them, you know, being hurt or being used or being, um, you know, heartbroken and all this kind of stuff it's, or, or getting pregnant. It's just going to save me so much trauma, trauma and trouble as a, as a mother of a teenager later on. And I, I, you know, they were just hoping that their child was gay. And there, there's nothing against gay people. I mean, I have gay people in my family. I love gay people. So this is not no kind of gay bashing video. This is just the reality of the world we live in where a mother wishes their child would, you know, be gay or lesbian because of what's out there to choose from. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so that's like a wake up call. That was like a wake up call to me because these were all different race women. They were Asian. Uh, black, white, Latina women, all of them were all different races and they were saying the exact same things. They were saying, you know, um, yeah, a lot of guys are not, you know, like they used to be. So my child's going to have to be independent anyway. They're, they're not going to be able to depend on someone. I'd rather not, I would rather her not get pregnant with someone who could not take care of her or the child. I would rather her just, you know, focus on her career and focus on this and that and, you know, maybe have a girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. And I was reading this and I was like, oh my God, this is so sad because even if the child was straight and, you know, they're going to, they're going to have to put up with this type of stuff because, you know, hope and, you know, I hope my child comes, turns out gay is just hope because a lot of people are straight. So if your child is straight, you're going to have to deal with this kind of stuff. You're going to have to teach them, you know, the type of men that are out there. And sadly, women are being forced to become more masculine in this society. And so, um, you know, it's, it's sad that we're going to have to gear our, our daughters to become more masculine and they can't even enjoy being, you know, in their femininity. It's just sad. Um, you know, some, some girls are going to be able to get what they want from a man in life and some are not, you know, there are some that there's just some girls that are just born gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous, and people are going to fall over them and try to do stuff for them just because of the way they look. <clears throat> but the average female is not going to have this type of attention, um, from men. So they're going to have to actually become more masculine to take care of themselves. And, um, it's just going to be the sad reality of the future of females. You know, either we're going to um, be extra feminine and extra uh, successful in our own right. Or we're going to be, be extra masculine because we're going to have to support ourselves. Because guys are not, you know, men anymore. They're just a roommate type situation. So, uh, like... I think raising your children to be very independent is going to be very important if you have children like in elementary and high school right now. Do not raise them to depend on what's out there. <clears throat> but if they do enter into a relationship, make sure it's with someone who can take care of them. Okay? I, I don't rec like a lot of people will disagree with me on this to the, the tenth millionth degree. But I don't recommend getting married to a man if he's going to make you go out and work for another man. That's just me. I'm just sorry. Now, if he gives you money to start your own business and you can build your own and contribute to the family, that's perfectly fine because you're not working for anyone and you can hire help or you can, you know, put your business on hold if you need to start a family or raise your children. You know, you're, you have that choice. But if your man says, hey, I don't care, you know, you have to get up and work. You've been in the bed three days. You just had a baby. You got to go back to work because I need help with this rent. That's not a man to me. Okay. If you're, if you're going to marry, do not marry a man who's going to force you out of the bed with your newborn child 
hand that newborn child over to a stranger and get your butt back to work because he needs help with the rent. <clears throat> That's not a man. I would rather, I would rather my child be single than have to deal with that mess. Like seriously. Um, so, and also guys, don't try to start a family. Don't get a woman. Don't try to be in a relationship if you cannot afford one. If you lay down with a woman with no condom on and you know that there's a chance that she can get pregnant and you're and like y'all are in a bad situation and your butt cannot afford to pay for anything by yourself, you know, in case your wife can't work or your girlfriend can't work, do not lay down with her with no condom. Because a lot of guys always blame the girl, but you're the one, you're the one that's taking that chance and that risk. Okay? So strap up, get a vasectomy, do whatever you need to do, but don't complain after the fact, okay? Uh, so yes, ladies, do not settle for less. If your man cannot say, okay, baby, take two, three years off of, off of your career or job, and I'll take care of you until the child's old enough to go to school. If your man can't say that to you, then he's not a man, okay? I'm just sorry. I know that there's uh, situations out there where two people have to work, but if you're gonna start a family, and your husband makes you get up out of your bed after three days of after giving birth that's not a man to me okay so make sure you marry someone or save up enough money to where you can take a year or two or three years off to raise your child because that's the most important thing um if your man needs help paying the rent and you know to me, it's just, it would be such a turnoff. I would be like, you know what? I, you don't even turn me on anymore. What can you do for me? Ugh. You know, that's just, I have to leave our child with, with, with a stranger and get up and go work under some under, other man because you're not man enough to take care of your family. Oh, you just turn me off. You know, I would not be able to uh, sleep with that kind of person. I would be like, oh, get away from me. You disgust me. You know, that would be me. Okay. Because... <laughs> I'm just being honest, y'all. I'm just I just can't help it. I'm I'm being honest with y'all. There are some women that will love someone no matter what. No matter what they do, they'll gonna they're gonna support them, go out there and work like a dog, get up after three days of giving birth, still bleeding, child still has their umbilical cord attached to their belly button, and they will go out there and work for that man just to keep a man. Okay, but that that's not me. Mm -mm. If you are not man enough to be able to provide, protect your woman and child, you're just not a man. And you don't deserve one. And honestly, I think all men should really consider before they stick their penis inside of a woman without protection, all of that I just said. Because it's sad that, you know, a lot of men will start a family and have no intention of being a provider. You know, um, and, and then someone in the comments said, oh, I like her. Uh, I like her personality, but it just sounds like she's talking about like black men. And <laughs> this is more than black men. I see white guys commenting. Well, you know, this is why, uh, you know, I see a lot of white guys commenting off of the MGTOW um, videos and stuff like that. So this is not just black guys. These are white guys, too, y'all. And this this. Um, I don't want to pull Latina men into this because a uh, Latino men into this. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't want to pull Latino men into this because they're very family based and oriented. And you know, it's you know, props to them. We we can learn something from Latino men. They're very loyal to their spouse. And even though you know the Latina woman works, she's not gonna be working while she's like super pregnant and she is going to be able to take care of her kids and most of the time their mothers live with them to help raise their family you know in a lot of households i know that's how it is on um, um, this family down the street the grandmother the mother the father and um the sisters all live together and so they all take care of each other but that's just you know their culture americanized culture is like you know you know mom dad and the siblings are in the house and that's it. You don't have extra help. Um, or they have to hire help or send them to daycare and stuff like that. So it's not going to be easy. So the man has to be, you know, responsible enough to be able to handle his woman not working for a couple of years before he starts his family, you know. So 
And I know a lot of women, get, you know, get married and then they want to have kids right away. And the men say, oh, we can't afford kids because you're going to want to take off and blah, 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 blah. And that's an issue. That's why before you get married, you choose the type of man who, who you already know is going to let you and allow you and be able to support you financially if you decide to start a family. You know, you don't, you don't base... You don't base it off potential you base it off what you can see what's tangible at the time okay any everybody has potential a bum has potential does that mean he's going to be donald trump next year does that mean he's going to win the lottery in two days does that mean he's going to you know clean up himself and uh, go work and get a, and get a job does it yes or no it's a gamble so i don't base anything on potential i base on what i can see and touch so this basically is a rant because of what I saw on Facebook and all all these ladies are saying, you know, I wish my child was gay because the world that they have to grow in up in sucks as far as partners are concerned, you know. <clears throat> and they were just going in on it. They started a whole conversation. Oh, I hope my daughter's a lesbian because I sure don't want uh, no guys messing over her or, you know, breaking her heart or leaving her with like five kids by herself or who can't afford you know to support her and has her out there working for like a dog you know I'm, I would rather her be happy and be a lesbian <laughs> and that is the sad truth of what's really going on and this wasn't even a group about that it was about makeup okay so as you can see it's on everyone's mind and it really sucks out there and I would hate to have to be dating in this society of men and in, in, in this generation of men I would feel like I was a lesbian anyway because I would feel like I was dating another woman you know so I'm going to leave it at that and I know I'm going to get a lot of people there oh uh, that's the problem with you da, da, da. it's not a problem with us okay we are we've always been the same way women have always been materialistic women have always wanted men that would make their lifestyle comfortable women have always been like that Okay, always. The only problem is that most guys, especially black men, have grown up with seeing one parent contribute to the household, which is the woman. So now they think it's normal for the woman to be the provider or to to uh, pay money to, uh, you know, have a roof over their head. But that's really backwards. It's supposed to be the other way around. You're the, the single mothers were actually doing the man's job because the man left. So if you want to be a single mother man, <laughs> if you want to act like you're, you know, a mother, a woman who had no choice but to be the man and the woman, then that's totally up to you. But I'm just telling y'all, y'all are all thinking backwards. You are raised, you know, sadly you were raised without the good example of what a real man is and now you don't even know what it is so you're just thinking the woman is supposed to pay because that's what you saw your mom do it's pretty sad you know was your mother happy doing all that you know do you wish that she didn't have to do that you know did you get the attention you thought you deserved as a child while your mom was slaving away did you really okay so no it's not supposed to be like that y'all it's not supposed to be like that. And I don't care how unfair you think it is. It's not supposed to be that. Well, women can say it's unfair that we have to give birth and have periods. And men don't. But we're not sitting up here complaining about it. Starting groups over it. Oh, men should have periods. Oh, men should be able to give birth. No. We just take our, our role and we go with it. Okay, you're a protective provider. That's why you're bigger. That's why you're taller. That's why you're skilled at certain things. Okay? Now, if you don't, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. And that's what's happening. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.